All right then, Peter, John. Big Bill tomorrow evening. It's a great big show. It's a big show for Hennessy. It's live on TV. Obviously a great undercard as well. You're part of that undercard. You are fighting for the vacant Irish light middleweight title. Start off with you, Peter. How does it feel to be on the bill? Yeah, yeah, um, it's great. Uh, it's great to be on. If we get showing on terrestrial TV, um, fought a lot of times on Hennessy Sports shows on terrestrial TV, and you know, and it gets you out there. You know, forget about all them other channels. But when it's a free TV station, you, you're looking at one and a half to two million viewers, and that's what you want to be. You know, you want to get you want to get known by people. Your grandma sitting in the gra in the armchairs. You ain't got Sky Sports. But they've got uh, Channel 5, and so you can get a big audience all around, you know? And how are you feeling ahead of tomorrow's show? Yeah, very good. Flew in from Marbella last night. Um, great training camp. Uh, everything's gone to prep. Um, you know, just ready to win another title tomorrow night, you know, to add to all the rest of my titles. 21 wins as a professional. You're a former Southern Area champion as well. What would it mean to win the Irish? Like middleweight title. Yeah, good because I'll be a two-time Irish Irish champion. Um, like I say, records are for DJs. Forget about my records. You know, it's all about your last fight. You know, and I'm not a DJ. I'm a record breaker. So, you know, I'm just ready to, you know, tomorrow night do the same thing again. And we're scheduled for ten three-minute rounds. Is it going to go the distance? Listen, it's all about winning. That's all it's about. You know, it's going to be an exciting fight. I know John's a good fighter. Comes to fight. You know, it's going to be an exciting fight. But listen, it's Ireland, but it's my Ireland. I was going to ask you about John. How much have you done your research on John? Yeah, I watched a bit. In, watched a bit of him on uh, YouTube, and um, yeah, he's a good fighter. Good, very unbeaten. Fought in America twice. Utmost respect for him. You know, it's a title fight, and I can't wait. You know, I just can't wait and show the show the British public how good I am. I believe you have a good walk on as well, ready for us, have you? You've been surprised yeah, yeah. your sleeve. Yeah, yeah. I got Darren Goff uh, walking me into the ring, um, and tubes from Soccer AM, Peter Dow. Uh, so. Just something different. I always like to do something different, you know, and dedicate the fight to my sister who I lost in January. It's her birthday on Monday, St. Patrick's Day, so I'm going to dedicate the fight to her. So there's no losing. I can't lose, you know. I've got her in my corner, and that's the main thing. So you wanted to bring a bit of razzmatazz to Reading? Yeah, well, listen, I bring razzmatazz wherever I go, you know. That, that's, that's, that's who I am, and that's why I'm known in boxing, you know. So, listen, all, there'll be another couple of surprises by tomorrow night on my sleeve as well. Surprises up uh, his sleeve for you, John. Oh, I'm waiting for them anyway. I'd love to see them, you know. Well, tomorrow night it's uh, Channel Five. It's a big show. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna stay on beating. I know myself the training I've done. He's a good fighter. He's been under the best, but I know what I can do in this fight. Yeah. What do you know about him? Have you altered your game plan or your training specifically he's for him? Very tricky. Operator. He's been under the best, you know. And I, as I said, he's won what his titles now, you know, but I'm ready for the challenge. I know what to do. Seven fights as a professional. Yeah. You are undefeated. Yeah. Five wins, two draws. Yeah. You ready for it? Ready. Never been in better shape in life for it. Like, super training. Great camp. I've been in Birmingham, back in Ireland, training. We've been all around. We're ready for this. So you're as ready as you've ever been? Ever. Been. On a scale of a 1 to 100, where do you put yourself oh, now at your fitness levels? 100%. Fantastic. Up early. And what does 2014 hold for you as well? Uh, there's a couple of them. I'm not looking past this fight at the moment. This is a big one for me. Like. No is this the biggest fight of your career at uh, the moment? Fighting Irish for the... title means the world to me. Like. Same as himself. It's going to make it a cracking fight. Fantastic. Yeah. Have you got a message for him ahead of tomorrow evening? I'm just look, I respect him as a fighter, I'm just looking forward to it. Uh, John Hutchinson, I had the pleasure of watching your uh, your most recent fight in Belfast, yeah. fighting on a small hall bill. You're now going to that to fight in live on Channel 5. How, how do you deal with this kind of pressure? Uh, there's no pressure, mate. There's a, I'm in a lot better physical condition. I've been training since January. The fitness level has gone to the roof. You're going to see a totally different John boy on the night. Yourself and your manager, uh, Len Gunning, have worked very hard to get you this shot. Now you've, you've, you're almost here Saturday, tomorrow. What are you expecting from Peter McDonough? Uh, a good 10 rounds fight is tough. He has it's only a two losses in his record. It's tough, like, and shows that. But all my fights has come to, been super muddle, muddle with. I'm down at late muddle now, and I see my natural strength. Do you feel you've retained the power when you've come down? I've made this a piece of piss. I know it's two pounds over there, but it was, I made it easy. People said, no, I'll not do the weight. Was it easy for me? 
So Peter, I'm feeling good for Peter McDonough, if I can just uh, come to you. Are you excited to, to have a chance of becoming a two-time Irish champion? Yeah, most definitely. You know, uh, uh, yeah, I can't wait, you know, but weight don't mean nothing to me, you know what I mean? It doesn't matter if it's something 12 stone, 13 stone, 14 stone. You know, I beat people up in the gym 14 stone, so if you're better than someone, you're better than someone, and no matter what the weight is, it don't make no difference, you know? Do you think, do you think boxing is all about levels? Is 100%. Heard you say? 100%, and, and, you know, full respect to John for taking this fight, and blah, you know, like I said, I ain't looking beyond him, because anything could happen in the boxing ring, but... Let me tell you something, I've been in with the best, but I've prepared, I've prepared for this fight, you know, properly. You know, whatever's going to happen, I'm, you know, I'm going to win. With Leon Senior in action in the Maxi Nutrition Tournament as well, big Irish, looks like there's going to be a big Irish crowd mm. in the venue. That can only add to the excitement, doesn't it? Definitely. There's an all Irish fighter on, James Fryers as well, isn't there? Do you excuse me, there is. There is, so there's going to be a big Irish connection on it, like. It looks like the roof's going to be electric. I trained with uh, Leon Senior as an amateur, like, but he's both at the Fisher and uh, he's a good fighter. He's got all the ability. He, his last fight he never had the notice for. You know, he took the fight at short notice. He's got this fight, he's, he's got the full notice. You're not going to see a different fight come tomorrow night, Leon Senior, because he can fight. All right, well, listen, it's an absolutely stacked card as well as the, the Maxi Knockout Tournament. I'm looking forward to seeing you boys in action. Thank you for giving me a bit of time today and we look forward to seeing you tomorrow. You all right, cheers, lads. Yeah, my.